Hello everyone and welcome to my new tutorial. I'm SV and today we will do a playing cards. So if you are ready, let's start. Ok, I am Cinema 4D and I start from a cube. Create a cube and give size, I don't know. First of all, I show you some texture. We are going to my plane cars folder and we are open some texture. I don't know. Check the size. Size is uh, 754,050 pixels. So I create same but in centimeters and maybe divide by two. It's, it's about like this. So it will be one centimeter and and I will divide by two here and divide by two here. So this is will be my uh, plain cars. So not so bad. Okay, what next? What I am doing next? Uh, add some segments. I don't know, maybe. Just a moment, I'll check where, where is the segments. Shading line, yes. Okay, like this. And like this three and four segments. Okay, very nice. Then make it editable. Go to edge selection, rectangle selection, eight, select this edge, this, this, and this edge. So we are selected, right click and go to the bevel. In the bevel, you can use, a, you can use subdivision. I don't know. I will use maybe five, maybe six and increase it depend what you like to receive your card. So maybe I will use seven and 30 centimeters. When it's ready, just push here and here. Very nice, we have it. Uh, what next? Okay, uh, I will show you how to add some texture. If you're going to content browser, yes, you have this, you have to download it, but I'll show the basic idea, basic idea how it work. So inside in presets, I have a playing cards folder and I have three different material materials. So I added in this area. What I am doing now, I select this object and apply this material with white color like this. After that, I am going to back way, select one, two, three, all these uh, polygons and apply back material on this area. Then I am going to this area and select it, hold shift on my keyboard, select like this and apply face material. So as you can see, it's applying automatically, but I have some problem. So how to fix this problem? We are going to layout and going to BPUV edition like this. So now what I have to do, I select first material and make it cubic. Then I select this material, make cubic, then select this material and make cubic. Then I have to go back to this area. So, and you can see it's fixed and working properly and looks like very nice. Okay, uh, what I have inside in my material. First of all, this is like a basic material, like a facing, uh, okay, I'll show you. For example, I will go like this area and these segments, if I render, you can see white, very nice color. So I can change it for everything what I like. I don't know, maybe gold. You like to receive gold and you will receive gold color. I will add some light, I don't know, dome light with some, with some flat, maybe I try to find somewhere, maybe I have somewhere in my folders. Yeah, I use this, why not? Okay, or this, also beautiful. Yeah, you see, gold side have gold color and have very good, very good specular. So, but like before I use custom. Yeah, like this. Don't like to disturb it. Okay, very nice. And what I have? I also have 
number of cards. This is, as you can see, here is two, but on the render I have nine. Now I show you how it's working. Yeah, and before continuous, I like to show you a backside. So as you can see now, I have, yeah, maybe, maybe I will change. Just take these cards and change like this. No, 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 I have to take cards and make like this. Okay, you can see, yeah, I have it. And if I go into back material, inside I have some few texture, blue, red, and green, standard playing card. So if I am apply, automatically I have these cards or I can apply like this and I have these green cards. It's absolutely up to you. It depends what project you like to make. And what next, what I like to show you next, some texturing. Going like this again back and going a little bit closer. As you can see, I haven't any bump, I haven't nothing. So I have go to my material, open that. This is crazy material. I will show you step by step how it's working. But in this area, I can little bit increase my, I don't know, my bump. Maybe like this and maybe for zero five like this. Just increase bump and check what I have. So I have now some text, uh, some bumping and it looks like very, very natural and very interesting. Okay, so what next? Uh, how to create uh, this material? So if I am going to MoGraph and Cloner and if I apply my cards, I'll call it card. Yes, if I make my card, oh, you see, it's already other. Apply to the cloner. You see all cards inside in this cloner have a different mark. So look at this. I am going and just increase. And how much I will increase? Okay, 52 cards. And as you can see, all my playing cards have a different style. Sometimes I can receive, for example, three, three, yes, it can be like this, but anyway, it's very randomized, very, very randomized, and it looks like very interesting, but if you will see in your viewport, you have only one card to cross, only one card. Okay, how it's working and how we'll do this texture. Okay, step by step. So I am going here, just cloner and reduce a little bit like this. So create new redshift material and apply this material, hold alt on your keyboard and just override here. So what I have now, I have like this, I haven't nothing. So if I check back way, same, I have uh, back cards picture and in this area, nothing. So now I show you how it's working. You open it, go inside and you have empty empty material. So what we have to use? Uh, okay, inside in utilities, you can find, you can find, you can find color user data, just push here. So inside color user data, go to attribute names and make choice object geometry ID color like this. And nothing more, not necessary to change default color or alpha, nothing more. Then you have go to math options, go to, go to, go to, I think it's color, as I remember correctly, and, and multiply. So apply this multiply, color data, apply to input number one, and multiply, apply to our material, diffuse color. So as you can see, number one, take information from color data and number two, we have to change. So now I'll change only for one, just for example and for beginning. What I am doing next? What I'm doing next? This is just uh, showing you. So I am going to, 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 give me one second. I try to remember. planner switch we are going to switch and shader switch this is very big panel and how to use it it is really very big panel 
So I am going to my folder, my heart, and just take all my heart and put here, like this. So just put in some position, more or less proper position, and step by step I show you how to apply all this texture and how it's working. So finally it's not so very hard, only just carefully repeat this tutorial to avoid <coughs> sorry to avoid any problem uh, number three number two very good and put it down okay how much cars does have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen thirteen cars so uh, to apply here like a shader zero then shader one shader 2, shader 3, we will see what will be finally, 5, it's taking some times, but do it carefully to avoid any problem. So, as you can see, I have 9 shaders, and last one is default shaders, but default I don't touch, and still 3 cards without any shading. So, I have go to shader switch again, put it here, and apply like a shader 0, shader 1, shader 2, like this. After that, output from this shader have to apply here like a default shader. So, and now this computer automatically and Redshift automatically will check if all shaders will complete it, automatically going this shader. But as you can see, here are some options, offset. So offset is zero, it's mean coming from zero, one, two, three, and like this. Here is offset also zero, which is should be changed to 10. Because here I have 10 shaders, and this will be offset 10, so coming 11, 12, 13. I hope it's clear. If you use more shaders, you have apply offset from 20, 30, 40, and like this. It is clear. So now I take my multiply and apply to my shader switch like a selector here and apply like a selector here. After that, I take my main shader switch and apply to diffuse color. And what I have? Now we have to check a little bit, wait, and coming some, coming some texture. So go in here and check what I have. Two har. Go to render, and as you can see, I have two everywhere, two card everywhere, and it's not changed me any different styles. So I'm, oh yeah, somewhere three. You see somewhere three. So how to fix this problem and how it's working? You have to use all times this multi shader and input number two. So it is not any rules. For example, if you have 50, 60, 20 cards, all time you have adjust this to receive a more or less good result. So I will try to change for 10. What I have, as you can see, it's more randomized, but I haven't my queen, uh, king, and maybe change for 20. As you can see, I already have some additional cards. So maybe 15, also coming good. Also, you can try make like this. For example, I am going to my desktop. Where is my plain card texture? I am going to, I don't know, maybe, maybe spide and apply these three cards, just like example, just like example. So queen, very nice. Okay, apply it like a, just put it down a little bit, like this, and to shader switch, make it shader three, make it shader four, make it shader like five. And what I have, still nothing. So I have to go in this area, multiply and increase, maybe 20. Still not coming black maybe 30. Okay, I receive some black cards. Very nice. 
So maybe 25, I also can use 25. You see, is the pent, is the pent, how much? Okay, like this, I like it. So, and be careful, be careful to keep empty space. For example, in present moment, I have one, two, three, four, five empty space. Default color is also like an empty space, yeah? Okay, and how to, for example, I change this, I don't know, maybe green, maybe blue, maybe this default color will be yellow, just to show you what is going on, yes? Maybe some pink and some red, it's, it's, it doesn't matter, it's just like example, yes? So, as you can see, I have one green card and I don't like it. So, the good idea is decrease this input, maybe for 25, yeah, now I haven't, maybe 26, yes, but if I increase too much, for example, 50, you see coming more from backside. So, if I increase for 200, coming only yellow. Yellow is last one, as you can see, default shader. So, if you like to receive only cards, please don't keep this colorized. I mean, white color or any different color. So, you can use, like, for example, like again, number two. You go in here and use shader number six. This will be shader number 7, shader number 8, somewhere shader number 9, and for example, hard queen, I use king, king, I use like a default shader. So, as you can see, all king, but if I'm going here and decrease it, for example, 50, I have it really randomized, maybe, maybe 40 like this. So, I hope you understood what is going on. If you have any questions, send me some comments. Uh, but I show you my, yes, so I, I'm deleted. I show you my material, which I created specially for you. You can check link below this video, download it, and use for any your different, I don't know, examples or send or project. So, I'm applied. Where is this? Yeah. I'm just apply here and how we can use it. So, for example, I like to use, I make one, increase up 52 and I have like this. So, um, maybe, maybe what I'm doing, I maybe make like this plane. So, very nice. I am apply for this plane some material. We'll use maybe some texture. I don't know, maybe wood, maybe, yeah, why not, wood, I use a wood, this, or this, yeah, this will be more interesting, so apply like a diffuse color, not necessary to make any, maybe like this, and maybe some very, very small bump, very, very small bump, just to receive very interesting final result. So, bump input, noise, like a texture input, and noise will be, for example, size 1. Okay, yes, apply here and check what I have. So, first of all, this will be a cubic, and render, and check what I have. Looks like very nice. Looks like very interesting, but my bump is it's maybe too much, or I like to decrease a little bit roundness for my maybe 2.5, 2.25. Uh, Check it. Yeah, so I like it. And just a little bit reduce my bump for 0 0.5. And noise, a little bit more, 2. Okay, very nice. So, okay, yeah, I like it. I like it. It looks like very interesting. Very nice. Okay, what I can do, what I can do and how I can play with my cards. So I'm going to cloner and just, I don't know, increase few rotation, change the difference. So as you can see, it looks like very interesting. Just a little bit pick up, maybe more. Yeah, like this. Okay, very nice. I already have very interesting uh, picture with many cards on my table. 
So I can apply for this, for example, not necessary to use it. I use here maybe, maybe 35 like this, or I can use, for example, some MoGraph effector like a plane. So how I can apply it, just close it. I am going to fall out, use a line. Where is my plane? Here my plane. Just change direction of this plane. Okay, very nice. So what I am doing, for example, I go to plane, I not need to change uh, position, but I need change rotation. Rotation, not this, just moment, I have to check, no, yeah, yeah, like this. Like this, for example, 180. It's just like example, of course you can make your animation more interesting for sure. I'm going to fall out. Just a moment, I think I have to change rotation. Yes, maybe like this. You can make like this or like in my training of these cards I using like this, you see, it's like a poker style, yes, some cars is coming, of course, some cars is touching other cars, but when you make it very fast animation, will be very beautiful, so also you can use, a, I I'm take these cards from my cloner, delete cloner, delete object, like this, and I can go to simulation particle emitter. So I have my particle emitter, just change direction like this, and and what I can do. So inside particle emitter, I'll put my cards, my plane cards, go to particle emitter and instance um, show object. So like this. Okay, when I play it, some cars start coming up, as you can see. So I a little bit increase my animation for 300 frames. Uh, what next? Increase the speed, maybe 500. Yes, increase here. Check again. Whoa, many cars coming up. And what next? I'm use a meter, like a cone, maybe 25 degrees. Check again. Yes, very nice, cars is coming, and maybe I also use some rotation, so rotation for 360 degrees, checking, whoa, crazy, 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 so for a moment zero. I have, I can to use uh, simulation, rigid body, uh, for apply for all children and for all objects, so play it, some cars is going up, and then going down, so I am also apply for my plane, this will be a simulation collider body collider body very nice so maybe a little bit increase it go to my emitter and increase the speed so maybe 800 so not 8000 800 so cars is coming up then dropping down or i can use like this go back play and cards going everywhere, going everywhere. I have one million cards. If I render it now, almost all cards will have a different style. Two, three, somewhere like this. And you can see I have many, many, many different cards. If I continue, so continuous will be more cards. I can go here, increase, going back. Okay. You see, it's very simple to use this material for any your project. So very simple now we can make, I don't know what we can make. We can create a camera. We can make a focus for these plane cards. We can apply some redshift. Where is my redshift camera tag? Go to bokeh, go to explosion, use 10, bokeh, I don't know. How much I have? I have 4,000, oh, it's too much. So I'm going to back it and maybe increase up to 10. So going to render without any additional, yes, of course, I didn't file redshift. Uh, here will be 32 and this I will use for 64 and bucket render use a maximum what I have. So render and check what I have. Render and check what I have and how fast it's working. Yeah. 
looks like very nice. So I have many cards. I can I can use it for any of my simulation and also I can apply for these cards. For example, some band I'm going to cards and 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 fix to the parent and little bit band. Not like this. So just a moment I'll take 10. Going to my band object and maybe turn. No. So I I have to take out my card. Go in here. And just just to find the way. Okay, so my card is bended. No, it's bended not correct. Okay, like this. Yes, maybe like this. So fit to the parent. Okay, and it's bended. It's bended, so I can use, I can apply a little bit more bend, maybe 20 degrees. Uh, going back, apply it to my parent, and again, play like this. No, 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 to here. Again, bam, 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 bam. Too much coming, too much playing cards. Be careful that your computer can't to stuck because very hard simulation. Okay, yeah, some cards is bended, you see, and this looks like now more natural. Checking, yeah, look at this. I don't know, I like it. I like it, and it looks like very nice. So, for focus, I will use this card. I'm going here and use this card for focus. Now I have this card to the focus. I'm going to output one nine to zero and like this so make a final render and that's all so if you like this tutorial please subscribe if you very want this material go to link below this video and download it from internet and don't forget to put a like share this video to your friends and thank you very much and if somebody like to support my channel please links below this video you can find any I don't know, any Danaus page, any PayPal account, everything. If you like to uh, support my channel, go ahead. It will be very good for me. Goodbye, everybody, and see you next time.